With Apple's new operating system, there's a couple of things that you're going to want to set up to make sure your Facebook ads can continue to run as effectively as possible. Hey guys, I'm Orlando Rios and I'm the head dude over at Dropkick Ads, a digital marketing agency. Now, in order to continue to be able to track events from your Facebook pixel with the new Apple operating system, you're going to have to do a couple of things to ensure that you're set up properly. Number one, you're going to have to verify your domain within Facebook Business Manager. And then you're going to have to set the priority for the certain events that you want tracked within your pixel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do before we get into the event management portion of this is you want to make sure that you have your domain validated within Facebook's Business Manager. So let's show you what this looks like. So here we're in Facebook's Business Manager. Uh, you get down to the business settings. You can reach it by going to that little gear down here on the bottom left. And then on the left hand side, you're going to see brand safety. Okay. And then here, domains. When you click on domains, here you'll see your URLs, your domains that you are have validated with Facebook. If you haven't, you need to do this first and you should really do it anyway, no matter what, uh, just to protect your account and protect your, your domains associated. So here I've already done so with some of my domains. But if you need to add one, simply click the add one and we'll just do one as an experience here. I own this domain. I don't have anything on it, but we'll use this as an example. So you'll just put your domain name in here, add the domain. And you'll see here that there's a red little dot. See, because it's not verified. So there's a couple of ways you can do this verification. My it, my uh, suggestion for what the easiest way to do it is just using a meta tag. Uh, it's super simple. All you would have to do is copy this to your clipboard and then go to your website and in within the head tag, just paste it in there. And then you'd come back here and click verify and then you'd be all set. If you're on Shopify, you would go to your theme, you'd edit the theme file and just write right below or right above rather the closing head tag you would put that meta uh meta code in there and then you'd be all set and then click come here and click verify the other ways are a little bit more complicated uh, uploading an html file to your your uh, ftp or dns verification which if you're not really familiar with setting up text records and subdomains all that kind of stuff c names etc you don't need to do this one. This is kind of tough if you're if you're not familiar with dealing with host name servers and all that stuff. So I would just do the meta tag verification. Simplest way to go. Once you click verify, that's in there and you're seeing a green dot up here, you're all good to go. Now that you have your domain verified, now you can move on to the next step. So here we are in our data sources. So if you go up here to business tools, you go to events manager, this is where you'll see your pixel. Make sure you have your pixel up, your, uh, your correct business up here, and you'll see all your pixel data that you have here. Now, when you look here, you're gonna see this new bubble here pop up for your, your Facebook ads pixel called Aggregated Event Management. Now, what this is gonna do, this is gonna kinda help with what's going on with Apple and iOS 14. Uh, and the data that you receive from this event, these those events. So this is very, very important. This is something you definitely want to have set up. And now that you verified your domain, now that you can do so. So once you have this set up, uh, you're going to click Configure Web Events. And I have a lot of domains that I work with here. So uh, I'm going to show you on Dropkick Ads here. And then you'll see domain verified. So as you can see for Dropkick ads here, I have the domain verified and I've already assigned some events. But for the sake of learning, let's take a look and think about if you didn't have anything set up. So as you can see here for my other domain here that I've set up for my new web store I'm launching, um, I don't have any events yet. 
Well, that's because I don't I don't have any events coming through on my Pixel yet. I haven't launched, so I have no purchases. I have no added cards. So that's why I'm going to get that going. So you're going to need your domain verified. You're going to need the Pixel in your site. And you're going to need events being triggered before you can move forward in this process. So you're going to need purchases coming in, add to carts, uh, all those things that you need to track. So once you have that going, Pixel's running, getting events, and you have your domain verified, then you'll manage the events. So here is what that looks like. So now that we've set this up, now this is grayed out for me because I've already done what I need to do, but here you'll just click add events and then you'll be able to add things like add payment info, add a cart, initiate checkout, lead, purchase, search, subscribe, view content. This is based on what events are flowing in from your pixel. So those are the options that you're going to have. Now you're going to be able to have a total of eight possible events and these are all going to be standard events. That means that a lot of the custom events that you might have made in the past, those are going away. Say goodbye to those. You're going to need to go to standard events now, the eight standard events that Facebook has set, for, set forth for this specifically. Now let's talk about this. You have highest priority here, and then you have lowest priority here. How do you want to set this up? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory, but let me tell you what is going to happen. So because I have the purchase event name here at the top and the highest priority, and you can set these here under highest priority in certain orders too. If I were to get a customer that came in, they added a product to the cart, they initiated the checkout, and then they made a purchase, the pixel is only going to send the purchase event. That means for that customer, I will lose the initiate checkout event. I will lose the add to cart event. I will lose the view content event. That's what this means. You're only going to get one event sent back to Facebook based on the priority of the event that was set. For instance, if a customer came in, and viewed content, they viewed a product on my store, and then they added to cart, but they didn't purchase, then the only event they're going to get is add to cart. The purchase would be zero because they didn't purchase. Initiate checkout would be zero because they didn't get, they didn't get to that step. But we wouldn't also get view content. We wouldn't get lead because add to cart is the highest priority. Now, if you're someone that doesn't get a lot of purchases and you do get a lot of add to carts and you like to optimize your campaigns for add to carts, so if you don't get enough purchases to actually run purchase conversion campaigns and you like to run on add to carts, which I think is a fair thing to do, you're going to want to have add to cart at the highest priority and then purchase below that. You're going to want to move this up above purchase. Now, what's going to happen, though, is that if somebody adds to cart and then purchases, but you have add to cart above purchase, you're not going to get the purchase conversion event data. You're only going to get the add to cart data. However, if you get more add to carts than purchases, you don't get enough purchases to really optimize. You have something that's really expensive, that's hard to convert. Uh, then that might be the route you want to take. But pay very special attention to the order here. I've seen a lot of people set these up and then not realize you can set the priority here within this section as well. So whatever event is most important to you should go to the highest point. And then here, you know, with purchase, you can set the value optimization on, which if you do this, it's going to automatically adjust higher bids to reach people likely to spend more and or lower for those people who are likely to spend less. So that is how you set up all of that. And that's all there really is to it. You've got your domain verified. You've got your priorities set for the events that are important to your business. Now, I do want to note that once you submit these events, this configuration, 
you might need to duplicate your campaigns and kind of start all over again because there's a little window and a learning curve that Facebook has to do to make sure these events are set. Now, and also you want to make sure that you, you're good to go. You don't need to make any changes to that event order at all because every time you do that, it's going to create a little hiccup in your campaigns. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, or follow if you haven't yet already. And as always, there is much more to come.